بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ وی اینٹر دا ویری لاسٹ فیز آف آر لرننگ آف ول دی انیشیل پرلیمنری بیسک لرننگ آف عربک فار دا پرپز آف انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا قرآن پرابلی آئی ریز دا فالس الام ان دا لاسٹ سیشن وچ نیور مٹیریلائز ان ٹو دی ڈسکشن آن واٹ آئی ایم ناؤ گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دس پارٹ از ایکچولی Uh, probably this session and the next one and maybe a subsequent one uh, is what is described as a discussion on Talati Mazid Fi which really means three but further in addition to it. Talasi three, mazid further fi in it. Now what does it mean? What it means is that besides Talasi mazid fi, there is what is called Talasi mujarrad, which is three and that's it, nothing else. Uh, you know, the examples of verbs, whether past, mazi, or present, future, mudare, that we have done as yet in our practice, were all the ones where we had three letters in its simplest basic form of uh, mazi, wahid, مذکر غائب ون ایور وی وڈ ہیو اے ورب وچ بلانگ ٹو دا کیٹیگری آف پاسٹ میسکولن سنگولر تھرڈ پرسن اٹ ول ہیو ورابا اور نسرا قاتلا اور نو میٹر واٹ ایون اف دیر از ایون اف دیر از اے ہر فعلت آلہ it would still be three, nothing else. I did mention sometimes on, uh, in some rare cases, they are four, like Zulzila, Zalzala, Vaswasa, etc. But in Arabic language, quite often, you come across uh, verbs which have three talasi but mazid fi in addition more now what does that mean what it means is that this nasara is actually talasi mujarrad it's three and that's it but there are verbs and pretty big in number in arabic wherein the uh, the formation of the verb is based on three letters which are original to it but there are certain given constant fixed additions to it as well so thalasi three mazid fi and over and above some additions that is what i am going to now start talking about from now on uh, I'm sure the uh, practice of it and the examples of it are going to make things clearer. Let me start with what, in my opinion, is uh, the, uh, the most frequently appearing verbs uh, that belong to this category of Thalasi Mazid Fi uh, are, are there in the Quran. Uh, let me say first, the first one is the example. I will start with fail mazi and then we will have an example of fail mudare and then we will have uh, Uh, 
اسم فائل and then we'll have اسم مفعول and finally we will have the master now the first example I'm giving is Anzala. Anzala. Now, Anzala, like Daraba, like Katala, is Madi, past, Wahid, singular, masculine, uh, Muzakkar, and third person which is غائب. And yet, and yet, it has four letters, not three. So, had it been Nazala, which most certainly is another Arabic word, verb, uh, it would have been any other verb that we are familiar with, like Daraba, Qatala. But in Arabic, you also have the example of Anzala. So, Anzala is essentially na nun ze lam, but with an addition of alif, mazid fi. I'll let you know a little more, uh, and you would probably be, uh, be, be in a position to understand it better. But before I move any further, to clarify, uh, Anzala, like uh, Nazala, like Katala, like Nasara, is Wahid, Muzakkar, Ghaib. So, for example, Zaraba, when we did its Gardan, the metrics, uh, it was Zaraba, Zaraba, Zarabu, Zarabat, Zarabata, Zarabna, Zarabta, Zarabtuma, Zarabtum, Zarabti, Zarabtuma, Zarabtunna, Zarabtu, Zarabna, uh, the uh, 14 boxes are filled like this. Similarly, in the case of Anzala, except for the fact that Anzala has an additional letter. It's Anzala, Anzala, Anzalu, Anzalat, Anzalata, Anzalna, Anzalta, Anzaltuma, Anzaltum, Anzalti, Anzaltuma, Anzaltunna, Anzaltu, Anzalna. So, for all practical purposes, Anzala is similar to Nazala, Zaraba, Katala, Samea, but it has an additional Aleph. That is Anzala Fail Mazi. Fail Muzare is Yunzilu. This is very interesting. Fail Muzare of Anzala is Yunzilu. And if I would write here, let's say, Daraba and uh, Yadribu, you would say that, okay. Anzala is different from Zaraba in that uh, Anzala has one additional alphabet, Aleph, compared to Zaraba. But compare Yunzilu with Yadribu, there's no difference. So how is it Salasi Mazid Fi? Well, forget about this, this debate. Just focus on uh, one point, and that is Yunzilu, Yunzilu is the form of verb mudare which you would never find in salasi mujarrad yadribu is yadribu yaftahu is yaftahu of fataha uh, let's have another um, yakfuru is uh, from Kafara. So, it's either this Kasra or this Fatha Zabar or this Zamma in uh, the this Kalima, the middle letter of uh, each verb. But you never have a, a scenario where in Salasi Mujarrad you have a Zamma on ya. It's always fatha, yadribu, yaftahu, yakfuru. But in this particular case, when it is uh, anzala, 
and the fail muzare is yun zilu. Let's move on. When you make a noun from verb, you know, you when you make zaraba, uh, zaraba is a verb. When you make a noun out of it, the one who beats, beats up, zarebun. But the one who opens is fate, or the one who is victorious. The one who rejects, denies, is kafir. It's the same pattern. That's how the pattern is. So, in Salafi Mujarrad, you have a very predictable, clear pattern of making nouns from verbs. Uh, if you want to say, this is ism fail, Zareb, the one who beats. And the one who is beaten up is madrub on the pattern of maf'ul. Right? Here, it's the pattern of fail. So it's quite predictable. That's how it happens. Uh, Fateh will be maftu. But in the case of uh, in the case of uh, anzala yunzilu, uh, the one anzala means he dropped. It was revealed, coming down. So the one who drops, the one who brings down, is the ism file. Munzilun. Don't confuse it with file. File is a state of a noun in a sentence. An ism file is actually a noun itself which has a meaning that carries the understanding of somebody who is doing it. So there are two different things. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to explain it through examples, uh, hopefully at some stage. But what I'm saying is that every verb has uh, the capacity, the possibility of uh, enabling a noun to emerge from it. So the noun is some file. Anzala, the one he revealed. Yunzilu, he reveals. The one who reveals is Munzilun. And the one on whom it is revealed is munzal that is isme maful and to send down reveal is inzal inzalun this is noun these are the three nouns and the first two are the verbs and we are talking about Salati Mazid Fi. I'll give you one or two more examples. And uh, hopefully this concept is going to get a little more clearer. Uh, let's take another important famous example from this category. Aslama. See, exactly like Anzala. There are verbs which simply use uh, the subsequent three letters of aslama and they are there in Arabic. But in Arabic you have this expression aslama, I'm sure we have seen it in the Quran. Falamma aslama, you know, aslama, he submitted. But if there are two who submitted, it would be aslama, like it is mentioned in the Quran about Ibrahim and Ismail uh, when they responded to the Almighty's call and they responded by submitting, the Quran says, Falamma aslama fatallahu lil jabeen. So aslama, it's a muzare is yuslimu, exactly like yunzilu. That is muzare. So, you know, you can go through the uh, gardan of muzare. Yuslimu, Yuslimani, Yuslimuna, Tuslimu, Tuslimani, Yuslimna, Tuslimu, Tuslimani, Tuslimuna, Tuslimina, Tuslimani, Tuslimna, Uslimu, Nuslimu. So the same Gardan. The only thing is that you have you have one 
uh, additional letter. In this case, it looks similar to Salasi Mujarrad, Zaraba Qatala. But what you have is actually a pattern which is in its in its form, in its appearance, is different. Uh, ism file, the one who the one who submits, is a very familiar word. Muslim. The one to whom submission is given is Muslim. It's not necessary that all words that get formed are actually used as well. It's only usage of word depends upon its need. But the act of submission is called Islam. See, your Islam, our Islam. So, this is, uh, this is uh, the category, the Bab. It's called Bab category of uh, if al. If al. You know why if al? Because it's Islam, it's Inzal. And in Arabic, well, for the sake of discussion, uh, the standard three letters that are referred to when you want to uh, give, uh, you know, one statement, a uh, generalized statement about all verbs or nouns uh, which emerge from three letters, uh, the three letters that are used are fa, ain, lam. Fa, ain, lam. So, you know, when this particular category, Bab, was given a name, the name was Ifal. That is, the, there is uh, an Alif uh, with a Kasra, Zir, and then there is a Fa, like in Islam, uh, which has a Jazm, and has a Zabr, and then towards the end there is a Lam. This is Babe Ifal, that is what the pattern is. And uh, there are a number of, there are a number of verbs in the Quran which belong to the category of Babe Ifal. The more you practice and try to identify them in the Quran, the more hopefully you are going to understand them. As I said, uh, this is the first of the two most uh, most uh, frequently used uh, verbs categories uh, in the Quran apart from Salasi Mujarrad. Salasi Mujarrad are obviously the ones which are uh, which have in their simplest form letters that are only three but when it comes to Salasi Mazid Fi when you're talking about verbs that have in the past mazi, singular, uh, wahid, muzakkar, masculine, third person, uh, ghaib, the sigha, uh, the, the word that you get is actually comprised of three letters. Uh, but when you come to salasi mazid fi, then you have three that are original to the word and mazid fi. Furthermore, some additions to it as well. Like in the case of anzala, aslama, there is the addition of uh, alif. The second category is the category of, so this was babe if al. And I try to explain why if al. Now the second category is Allama. This is Mazi, Wahid, Muzakkar, Ghaib. You can give, go for the entire uh, Gardan. Allama, Allama, Allamu, Allamat, Allamata, Allamna, Allamta, Allamtuma, Allamtum, Allamti, Allamtuma, Allamtunna, Allamtu, Allamna. Now the only thing is that although we have, as I said, Alima, Salasi Mujarrad, 
a very much an Arabic word used quite often. Alim Allahu, God knew. Uh, but Allama is also another verb. And this verb, as you can see, has an additional lam. Lam is repeated here. When you have a shad tashdeed, it's a one letter alphabet repeated. So, Allama is Salasi Mazid Fi. And it's uh, Muzare is Yuallimu. It's always the same. Anzala Yunzilu Allama Yuallimu. So, whenever you have a verb which will have uh, its uh, appearance similar to Allama, it is bound to have its uh, Muzare in the form of Yuallimu. Unless obviously if it's passive, then it's going to be Yuallamu. Its passive would be Ullima. Anzala Unzila. Yunzilu Yunzalu. But I'm talking about active verbs. Allama uh, means he taught. Yuallimu means he is teaching or he will teach. Ism file, the one who teaches is Muallim. The one who teaches is Muallim. This is Ism file. Always the same. And the one who is taught is Muallam. Muallamun. And obviously, these nouns again can have their own alterations done in, in them in order to uh, express the right uh, understanding. I mean, if you want to say uh, the one who teaches who is a masculine is Muallimun, if it's a feminine lady teacher, Muallimatun, if it's two, Muallimani, Muallimatani, Muallimuna, Muallimatun. That obviously is something I, I hope is given and is, is already dealt with. And when it comes to its masdar, uh, the, uh, the name of this entire category, uh, which is the act of teaching, it's called the famous word talim. We are all familiar with talim, right? And if I ask you, if we follow the same pattern, what exactly is the name of this particular Bab category, I hope you would come with, to, with the same answer. It's Bab Tafil. Bab Tafil. Bab Ifal, Bab Tafil. I'll just give you another example of Bab Allama. Uh, we have in the Quran, uh, like Anzala, Nazala is very. Nazala. You might ask, why is it that uh, you have uh, Nazala, Anzala, Nazala? Why, n why not just one? Well, the answer is that they have different meanings. Nazala means uh, it fell. Anzala, he caused things to fall or to re be revealed. And Nazala, well, it was, he revealed it uh, with preparation, with a lot of, uh, lot of effort into it. Nazala, you can predict, you nazilu, the one who, the one who causes to reveal is munazilun. It's mentioned in the Quran, munazilu tawrat wal injil. The one that is revealed is Munazzalun. And the process is called Tanzil, which again is a word used in the Quran, Tanzilur Rahman. So that is the discussion of uh, Salasi Mazid Fi. I hope it's not too difficult. Practice and your familiarity of the Quranic text would make it easier. And we'll continue to discuss it in those next one or two sessions more, inshallah. May the Almighty enable us to understand the Quran properly.